Hello. For the beginning, a small glance at the impact of biggest density spike in last couple days. This one took place in the morning of 9 July. Even if this impact wasn't too geo-effective, it is for sure worth to be recorded as the density reached a pretty high value of 130 particles per cubic centimeter. That's the highest value of those spikes which I've ever recorded. From the latest uncommon seismic activity, it is for sure worth to tell about this unusual 4.3 magnitude earthquake in the United Kingdom. There's plenty of testimonies, so it's rather easy to guess that this quake was not something what happens every day in this region. However, the only space weather activity which was taking place at the time of quake was this small shift of IMF magnetic components on ACE readings. Nothing really spectacular. However, the European magnetometer stations recorded some disturbances in the geomagnetic field, which can't be rather explained by solar activity. It looks that there were no spikes on ACE data. However, a couple hours earlier, GOES satellite recorded a small drop on electron flux graph, which still wasn't so strong as the disturbances which took place in last days at similar time. That means before noon. And now a small question. How it is possible that until today no one didn't notice that those drops appear on this graph every day at similar time? And even if some researchers tried to explain it with the density spikes on ACE readings, the timings don't fit to each other at all. Those rapid drops are visibly unrelated to ACE spikes, which appear at different times, while the drops have a visible frequency. I don't know if it can be a possible factor of the quake, but right at the time when it occurred, there was a visible drop in the density of cosmic rays. Anyway, something really odd is taking place on Bartle Cosmic Gray site. It looks that all their monitors are not being updated anymore for the last days. Maybe it's because of the spikes which suddenly started to appear at some of those charts. I wonder if there is any correlation between them and the spikes on ACE readings. 
but for now I can't find any connections. Much more interesting space weather events took place during the strongest quake of 11th of July. 6.5 magnitude in Japan. Because as we can see on ACE graphs, Earth passed through another sector boundary of the IMF. This event affected greatly the equatorial magnetic connections. Flux tubes were visibly disconnected right at the time of quake. Of course, the main connectivity point remained at this time in his favorite feeding ground, not that far from Japan. Look as the height of flux tube opening is growing while it's being disconnected. Plasma temperature monitor shows that at the time of quake Japan was placed right in between opposite polarities. But the most interesting readings can be seen on the atomic oxygen monitor where we can see a negative connection opening over the northern pole. It looks that some spikes appeared again on the ACE low energy proton graph. Let's see if they affected the geomagnetic field in any way. Although there were no earthquakes which could be connected with this activity, Canadian magnetometers recorded some rather strong disturbances which are likely connected with the recent spikes. Impulse which was recorded by the station in Mianuk is very interesting, as it wasn't recorded by the stations which are placed closer to the magnetic pole, like a Eureka. Disturbances which are caused by the sun are much stronger in close distance to the poles, so probably the strange activity on Canadian magnetometers wasn't connected with the sun. Some strange readings were recorded as well on the radio flux monitors. However, they were not connected with solar flares. In last two days, they, there were two serious disturbances on a Schumann resonance monitor.
It looks that there is a minor geomagnetic storm taking place while I am recording this movie. It looks however that you won't find the cause on the solar wind graph. The only possible explanation is negative BZ component, although it reached only minus 5 nanoteslas. Magnetic polarity of the Sun is still seriously screwed up. According to Stanford monitors, current sheet of heliosphere looks like a giant ear. We can see the effects nicely when we look at the configuration of departing sunspots. On the western limb, sunspots are placed in the same order over both hemispheres. What is not exactly right? While we're talking about the things which are not exactly right, I should mention the circulation of polar air masses over Northern Pole. the central point is visibly displaced. Just like the pole would be migrating towards the Eastern Asia. But this is not all. The direction in which the clouds are rotating is still counterclockwise but in some regions we can see air masses moving in opposite direction. When the clouds start to move clockwise, it will mean that our planet flipped its magnetic polarity. Wow, thanks to Freenork 5, I can show you the reason why the cosmic ray monitors from Bartle's site are not updated. This is what I call a spike. And by coincidence, the timing fits to the latest low energy proton ACE readings. You can find this monitor in the Ionosphere tab on my page. At last, Bartle Cosmic Grey site started to update their charts and look what appeared on Spaceship Earth Monitor. Those were some heavy cannons. But you are probably wondering if those enormous cosmic rays were recorded as well on some other monitors. If you will look at the new joule heating monitor, you will find the answer easily.
I don't have any doubts that those anomalies are connected directly with the latest cosmic ray outburst. For the end, I would like to show you some readings from MACC site, which are probably connected with the unusual quake in the United Kingdom. This monitor shows the nitrogen dioxide density at surface level. There is a clear emission very close to the epicenter. Just like in the case of carbon monoxide. But this is something worth to mention. Look at the concentrations of active gases in those areas. Of course I can be wrong, but those readings can mean that the seismic activity will grow in those areas in the near future. Enough for today. Class dismissed. Peace.